The SWAC season culminates in Birmingham, Alabama. Arkansas Pine Bluff has put together one of the best seasons in school history, and today it tries to cap it with its first SWAC title in 46 years. On the other side, a story program in Jackson State gunning for its 17th title all time. It's the SWAC championship game right now. Costing the Tigers a couple of seconds. Right now within range for Ryan DC. Here comes pressure. Martin, no. It's a live ball with a flag down. Bill Ross headed the other way. 75-yard touchdown. We'll see what the flag is. Xavier Lofton jarred loose, and Bill Ross took it to the house. Defensive lineman, that's basically telling Ben Anderson you're not going to be able to run the football. Shot downfield. It's in stride. Willie Young, a foot race. He will not be caught. 95 yards. the effort. Ben Anderson put plenty of air on the football and Willie Young did the rest. And the true freshman has shown the ability to get behind the secondary of Jackson State. This time Anderson had enough arm to get it out there where he can make the huge play. Now Strickland for the extra point. He missed the field goal from point blank earlier in this half. This for the tie. With two minutes to go in the SWAC championship game, it's 21-21, tied for the first time since it was scoreless. Longest pass play in SWAC championship history. I mean, Young's just gonna put on the Jets and watch Ben Anderson just heave this ball from his back leg in great extension by Young to not settle for the diving catch, able to run underneath the football and pull away from Travis Woods. Sorry, that's Mike Hill. Mike Hill, the outside linebacker. We've seen that matchup before. It becomes a foot race. We've got a tie football game, Joe. And he had a feeling it would take something like that because Pine Bluff seemingly was not going to finish off a long drive. Yep. And that's what you had to do. I mean, they made it clear they weren't going to Play action. More with time, but the pocket collapsed and he stepped out of it. Back to the line of scrimmage. It was dropped by Sean Robinson. This Arkansas Pine Bluff defensive line has really seized control of the line of scrimmage here in the second half. Jackson State was four of seven on third down in the first half, 0 of nine in the second half. Batted down. It was Robinson again, and it's fourth down. So the freshman from Nashville. Woo. We had a 41 yarder for a career long last game. Drives it from 42. And it's blocked! The Pine Bluff defense pitched a shutout during the second half. And they pitched a shutout in the top half of overtime number one. Things are looking good for the Golden Lions right now. Anything wins it. Billings, left side. Justin Billings runs Arkansas Pine Bluff. Inside the five. He thinks he's in, so does the crowd, but it's first and goal at the five and a gain of 20. Were we the only ones that thought they were going to run the ball to the left side behind Teron Armstead, doing a good job getting there? Does he get in? He's tiptoeing on the sideline. That may be a touchdown. There is a flag down as Pine Bluff stormed the field. Oh, he stepped out on the five. I think you're oh, going to get a penalty on the sideline. 
biggest kick in Pine Bluff history. Arkansas Pine Bluff wins the SWAC championship. That was close, Joe. <laughs> the most consistent team throughout the 2012 football season. Let's take a look at this one. He's got to put a draw on it. Whoa. From the cellar to the top of the swag. Champions for the first time in 46 years as they win 10 games for the first time in school history. 24-21. Arkansas Pine Bluff wins the first overtime game in SWAC championship history. Comes down to maybe one final drive here. Anderson in the end zone. Going up top. Anderson. He's got a man. Midfield. Look out. Foot race. Willie Long, 20, 10, 5, yes sir, touchdown. You're kidding me. Willie Young, 95 yards. Unbelievable. And an extra point away from tying it up. He's definitely a deep threat. That's why he was recruited. This kid has tremendous speed to him. He runs a 4-3-4 in the 40. You know, he's out of New Orleans, and this, is, this kid is a super freshman. Monty Coleman on a knee. This is for the SWAC championship, 26 yarder. The snap, the hold, the kick is up, and the kick is good. UAPB is your 2012 SWAC football champions for the first time in school history. The Golden Lions have done it, and they are SWAC champions. Unbelievable. And Unbelievable. They're Kim. flooding the field, going crazy right now. And Coach Coleman was, was drowsed with some Gatorade or water or something. But he... <laughs> it never felt so good. It probably feels kind of like the Super Bowl to him. He won three Super Bowls, and I bet he's never felt more elated in his life than he does right now. This is an unbelievable feat as he meets Comagy. And they talk it over, and they're trying to dry off Monty Coleman as he's getting tons of congratulations and they're trying to get him set for an interview coming up here. And I'm, Carl, I'm speechless. This is unbelievable. Won their first SWAC championship as, as Monty Coleman's being presented with the SWAC Coach of the Year Award as he, it always goes to the winner, winning coach of this game. And he's up for a national award as well. Yeah, with the, the Eddie Robinson Coach of the That's Year right. Award for uh, Division I AA football. You know, and as we make our way a little bit later on, Tim, to the interview room, and I know there's going to be uh, packed with media there in, in the interview room, but and Coach Coburn goes on second after Coach Coburn. The University of Arkansas. So now they will. This is a huge trophy that we had a chance to look at in the press conference yesterday. Yeah. The two representatives in the press conference yesterday for UAPD was Bill Ross and Ben Anderson, and they won. The offensive and defensive player of the award. Monty Coleman was there. He wins coach. So it was just kind of a, uh, a preempted celebration there at the press conference on what we were about to unfold and, and watch here today. But in overtime, the Golden Lions win it 24 21 on a 26 yard field goal by Tyler Strickland. Boy, did it seem like it took forever after Billings had that nice 24 yard run. And then they say they say it was out at the five, but it just seemed like it took forever for that ball to get to the uprights from that point <laughs> on. It felt like a whole nother quarter went by, but finally, that's a lot of pressure on your snapper. Remember, Bill Ross is not your, your regular deep snapper. He's filling in because Patrick Ray got injured and broke his ankle in the last game of the season. So Bill Ross is thrust in there as your deep snapper. How about the pressure on Aaron Godwin? Yeah. He's got he's to hold the sucker, and then the kicker's got to kick it. So a lot of things could go wrong there, it's, but it didn't. And here's the team now just hoisting up the trophy as they're all piling up there at midfield and getting them a, getting them a touch. 
of the prize as they are being rewarded. They're, they're, this is the fruit of their labor as they're getting a chance and the band playing We Are Champions and this is what it's all about as Monty Coleman embracing his wife Yvette, they walk off and UAPB has their big sign there. There's the banner team, the 2012 SWAC football champions, the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluffs Golden Lions. See if I can uh, snap them. Tell you, this is really a historic moment here for 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 UAPB Nation, Golden Lion Nation, and uh, I just only thing I can just say, wow and unbelievable. It's it's uh, so fitting. So fitting, and this this huge crowd that UAPB band brought, these fans are these fans are still in the stands, and they're going to be Birmingham's going to be rocking tonight. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, you you're right about that, and I tell you it was a hard fought 24-21 UAPB victory. <laughs> and, you know, and think about this, Tim. It's it's hard for. UAPB for anybody to beat somebody twice in one season. And the last time around, it's the Jackson State lost the football game 34-24. But this Jackson State football team played these going around very, very hard all season, all, all game long. And, but the, the beat, the deep pass for Willie Young was a difference. It was a difference. It was really remarkable. As we wrap things up here, we'll make our way down to the post game celebration and press conference. Finley Hill back in the studio. Great job all year to our mass communication students and to our UAPB TV crew all year. Randy Kelly and Shelly Roby Andrew and all of our great help that made this all happen all season. As we wrap things up, our final score here, UAPB wins it in overtime. Their first ever 10-win season. And the first time in school history, their first ever SWAC championship for Carl Wimper. I'm Tim Stubbs. The Golden Lions win it. They are SWAC champions in 2012. How sweet it is. We say good night. Let the party begin from Birmingham. So long. Go Lions.